Cooking on Fox 14 continues. Today's Cooking with Olivia, sponsored by Max Fresh Market. And I'm here in the kitchen with the beautiful Olivia on this beautiful winter day. And she is making a lovely and delicious dessert. I've already tried it a little bit. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> So hey y'all and welcome to Cooking with Olivia. So I'm super excited for today. Merry Christmas, even though it's not the month of December, we're already here. And I'm super excited for the holidays and I hope as well as all of you are. And you know, around the holidays, you got a lot of baking and desserts to do. You're going to Christmas parties. This is something very easy. Maybe if you're running late, you can just easily whip this up and serve it and your guests will love it. So anyway, Wonderful. today we are making an original. It is called Olivia's Trifle Pecan Dessert. And this is a very yummy, delicious dish. Very simple, just a few steps. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. So we've just started with our base and with our base pecan, you want to go to Max First Market and you want to get uh, just a regular frozen pecan pie in the fr freezer aisle and you want to let it defrost and then once it's done, you just kind of just get your hands and break it apart until it looks like this. And up here, our cream cheese, we did one cup of powdered sugar and then we, uh, and then just, we're going to add a little bit of milk just so it'll stay um, moist mm -hmm. and liquid. So we're just going to mix this a little bit up, just a little bit. If we weren't on TV, I would want to lick the beaters. Uh, I said, if we weren't on TV, I'd want to lick the beaters. Yes. I just love to do that. <laughs> All right. You just need a little mix. Mm hmm Okay. Let's get that. And then over here, with our, we got our pecans. We roasted these with just a little, mel little bit of melted butter. And we roasted these on the skillet. And we add a little bit of salt. And then we have our caramel and chocolate syrup. So what we're going to go do is we're going to go ahead and get our uh, pecan. I'm just going to show you how to layer this. You want to start with this at the bottom. Get enough to where it covers the bottom. And you also need a left to layer it. So we're just going to layer this at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I would say my all-time favorite uh, trifle dishes we have to be turtle, turtle cream pie. Oh, yeah. That how sounds they, lovely. Yes, it is so del delicious. My sister, Caitlin, she actually... That's her favorite thing. You know mm -hmm. how they make the candy forms of it? The uh, little candy uh, turtle truffle bites. She loves that. I know. It brings back memories for me. My mom used to like to make trifles. Yes. You know, I never would have guessed this was a pre-made pecan pie. I know. After you have it made. And since you hey, and if you even want to go bigger, you could actually make, home make, make your... Uh, uh, pecan pie. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it from scratch, because I know a lot of people like uh, home home cooking scratch rather than um, store ball. But this one you can't tell. I think it's really exactly. good. So then we're gonna go ahead and add in our caramel, our chocolate syrup right here. I'm just gonna I love caramel. Yes, this is chocolate. Oh, that's chocolate. Yes, okay. I just kind of like give the uh, you know how the decorators give it that touch. Beautiful, <laughs> creative. Yes, caramel is my favorite. You can't have too. you can't have too much caramel or too much chocolate. Do you say caramel? I do too. So a lot of some people say caramel. Caramel, so like they also make caramel candy, like yeah. caramel taffy, but I call it caramel. I do too. So anyway, you just want to then you just want to keep on layering and layering and layering until it gets filled. And once it gets filled all the way to the top, then you want to add your uh, pecans and mm -hmm. just to your likings of how much you like. And then there you go. You it's got your beautiful. awesome pecan pie. And here. look how beautiful this it. is to take to parties or, um, you know what? It would be a very good idea for teacher gifts. Yes, you could put like in a little jar. mason jars. Yeah. That is a oh good my idea. Gosh. And if you want to cut up another pecan pie, just because if you want it filled to the top, just mm -hmm. just as, just how much you want it filled. Maybe if you're going to a little party, you don't have to fill up that much. Just depend on uh, how much you want to fill it up to. So that is a great idea. And you could put little, yes. you know, decorate the top of it. So I'm going to taste it. I, um, I've already been eating it because it's so good. But I know. This is really good. This is going to make a lot of people happy during the holidays. <laughs> and one more thing, <laughs> don't leave this overnight because it will get really soggy. So if you're going to a party, make it that day or mm. any Christmas event make it that day because you don't leave it on night or it will really get soggy and it, and it won't be really good because like the uh Very good you, know, you kind of want to crunch mm -hmm. uh, like a little crunch it's just all gonna be soggy so that's a um very good tip for y'all to use Good to know. So, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you for joining us. Thank and you. And we'll see you next week with another holiday dish. And you can get this recipe at myarchimist.com. you got to try it. It's really good. 
Today's Cooking with Olivia, sponsored by Max Fresh Market.